Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe even leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon. I've included a link in the description that will take you directly to the product page. You can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product I want to share with you is absolutely perfect device for kind of home emergencies. If you lose power, if you like to go camping, anywhere basically that you need power in a remote place. So this was sent over by a company called Amp Pace, and this is their Andes 1500 model, um, basically a portable power station. Uh, this thing is absolutely amazing. And we're going to go over all the features. So first off, you are going to get a user manual, but like I said, we're going to cover those features, you're going to get a nice little bag, and that's to store the two types of cables. So you're going to get one uh, cable here that is just to plug into a standard outlet to charge it up. Then you're also going to get a uh, cable here to plug it into your car, a cigarette lighter, if you wish to charge it up that way as well. So let's go over all the features. So as you can see, here it is. It is a nice little size. It does have two handles on either side because it is quite heavy. Now, this thing is made with premium EV based um LFP batteries, and why that's important, they're not just your standard kind of lithium batteries, they're the same kind of batteries that they put in your car, and that means that they'll have a lot longer cycling time, they'll last a lot longer. Uh, this thing is rated for 10 plus years out of battery life usage, so uh, that's an important thing, especially if you're using it in a you know, kind of an emergency situation, you're not necessarily using it every day, you wanna make sure those batteries are last and they hold their charge so that way you can get the most out of the device. Now it does have what's called a boost as far as the power charging which basically that means if this thing is dead and you're needing to charge it up um, so let's say you're getting ready to go camping and you realize it's dead it's going to take about an hour to fully charge up just to give you an idea. Uh, and another cool aspect of this you can keep an eye on all your power consumption and all your usage through their app, um, it's by the same name, Ampace, um, uh, and you can sit there, you can look how fast it's charging, you can customize the various features, it has these little LED lights on the top uh, that just does color changing, you can kind of change up that look when you're not utilizing it, however, when you're charging it, it'll be glowing green, letting you know um, that it's basically charging up. So the app does have a lot of useful features, you can turn things on and off, you can um, basically keep a remote eye on your stats, but you do not need to use the app if you don't want to. It's not required or anything like that. So what is this thing output? So this output is 2,400 watts. That's basically going to cover almost every major appliance in your house. So if you do have a power outage, you're going to be able to power a lot of different things throughout your house. Now, obviously, depending on how much stuff you have plugged in here, because it can have a lot of stuff plugged into it at once, it's going to determine how long it's going to last as far as usage. Obviously, if you're just charging up laptops and tablets, you're going to easily get multiple days out of this. If you have a more higher uh, wattage thing, like a microwave or a fridge, uh, that's going to obviously absorb the battery power a lot faster. So it just kind of depends on how much you're having. Now, and another important thing that a lot of companies don't talk about is this thing has a surge power of 3,600 watts. What does that mean? That's that initial draw when the device turns on. So think of your hair dryer, right? Hair dryers have a tendency to sometimes to blow fuses. That's because that initial draw is so strong. So this thing is um, rated up to 3,000 uh, 600 watts of surge. It's not the same as the output, which is a nice thing because that means it can basically handle more appliances. Now let's cover everything you've got. So on the front, you're going to have basically four AC plugs that you can plug into. These are what's covered up to 2,400 watts. There is a little power button above them to activate them and turn them on. You're going to notice a little door down here at the bottom. You're going to have your car input, you're going to have your um, discharge protection and then your AC input. So then behind this little door, this is where you're going to plug in your devices. So you have your section that goes into the wall outlet and then you have your section into your car. And then if you ever need to press that button for the discharge, you can. Um, but it's got a nice little cover over it so that way uh, you basically don't accidentally hit any of those stuff. Now on the back side of it, 
Uh, you're gonna notice there is a little spot here. This is where you can plug in an extra battery to it so you can link batteries to this thing, which is really, really cool. Uh, so you can have multiple of them. If you need that, that is great, especially if you're utilizing them like in an emergency battery backup situation for your whole house. Uh, speaking of emergency backup, this thing does also operate as a UPS. So if you do have it hooked up into any uh, kind of sensitive equipment, you can utilize this as a UPS if you wish. Um, now on the other side, you will notice you're gonna have your little screen here. This is gonna give you all your little stats when you have stuff plugged in. It's gonna tell you um, kind of how many hours left you have, which is nice when you have multiple things plugged into it so you're not just guessing. Uh, it's gonna tell you how much charge left you have and then it's gonna be telling you your, your input watts that are coming and your output. Why it's telling you your input is because you can hook a solar panel system up to this thing if you wish. Uh, it does work um, with, if you have like a, a 600 watt solar panel, a little bit bigger ones, uh, you can actually charge this thing in full sun within three to five hours. You know, that's a flux because you never know with clouds and all that kind of stuff. But if you have that, you can charge this up within a day, which is another nice thing. So it does uh, support plugging in solar panels which is another nice thing. Uh, below this, you're gonna see, you're gonna have your four USB plugs. Uh, each one of these things is rated for 18 watts. Then you're gonna have on either side your USB type uh, C plugs, which are rated up to 100 watts each. So those do a fast charging. They're gonna work for your laptops, your computers, your tablets, your phones, all that fun stuff. Um, now this all has built in there, the, uh, the technology that's going to determine how much charge should be going to your vices. It's gonna have all the over protections and all that kind of stuff built into it so you don't harm anything, which is another nice aspect of it. Um, but I like how on this particular unit, they also list all your wattages. So it's once again, no guessing. You don't have to go back to the manual. You can just ignore that because it has all the details right here on the equipment and via the app. So it's super, super easy to utilize. Now you're gonna have two plugs here. This is for the DC5521. Um, these are both basically 120 watts and then you're gonna have your car socket. So like the reverse, you know, if you do need to plug in a cigarette lighter type thing, you can plug it right into here as well um, to utilize that. But uh, easy to read. Oh, another thing up here at the top, you're gonna have a little LED light. So just simply hold it down the little or sorry the little press the little led light you're gonna see it's got a little white thing and then it goes a little bit higher level uh then it's gonna just do the strobe effect uh and then it's gonna do basically the sos mode if you need it press it again and it turns off so it does have a nice little built-in light once again that's gonna be great if you bring this for camping uh you can set up your common area in your camping if you're camping with friends Kind of by the campfire, you can set this thing up and plug in a radio to it. If you need light, you just simply press that button, which is another nice aspect of it. Um, as far as operation, when you have things plugged in here, it, you know, obviously it has fans to keep things nice and cool. It's super, super quiet. So even if you had this in your bedroom, it's uh, not going to bug you. You can turn off the lights if you wish on the top. Um, but it's not very loud at all. It's very, very quiet, which is another great aspect of it. But overall, it is an absolutely really cool portable power station. If you're in the market and you're looking for a nice investment for a great portable power solution that you can bring with you, whether you're doing on adventures or just for peace of mind in case power goes out, this thing, I cannot stress enough how nice it is. I really, really like it. It has a ton of features. And for all those reasons, I do highly, highly recommend checking this one out. That is basically it. If there's something that I haven't quite covered that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.